We begin tonight with disturbing details in court documents that reveal what might have driven a father from Southern California to end the lives of his two young children on a dirt road in Mexico. Welcome to the 10 o'clock news. I'm Marcella Lee and I'm Jesse Pagan. A criminal complaint reveals Matthew Coleman confessed to killing his two year old son and 10 month old daughter south of Rosarito Monday morning. He claims conspiracy theories influenced him. Tonight News 8's Richard Allen breaks down what Coleman admitted to investigators with insight from a forensic psychologist. Well, that's right. According to this complaint, Matthew Coleman told investigators he was influenced by QAnon and Illuminati conspiracy theories and that by murdering his two children, he was, in his words, saving the world from monsters. 40-year-old Coleman also told federal investigators that he had to kill his 2-year-old boy and 10-month-old girl, explaining that he was receiving signs and visions that his wife possessed serpent DNA and had passed it on to his children. The complaint details how he drove the toddlers to Mexico last Saturday and then two days later shot them with a spear fishing gun in a secluded area south of Rosarito. There's so much tragedy. In Dr. Eric Fox is a forensic psychologist and attorney. He cautions that he has not evaluated Coleman personally, basing his observations on the criminal complaint and media reports. Were they in a manic episode? Are they bipolar? Were they under the influence of something? Were they not taking their medications that could have triggered something in a particular way? I mean, there, there, there are a number of theories that one would want to investigate in a case like this. Dr. Fox points out that Coleman's age, 40, is notable. We don't typically see somebody having a psychotic break or at least a first psychotic episode at that age. Those things generally occur in younger individuals between 18 and 25. The complaint also points out that when Coleman's wife reported him and her two children missing, she did not believe her kids were in any danger, adding that there was no argument prior to Coleman's disappearance. So it, it appears that this came out of left field even to those that were closest to him. In terms of Coleman's mental state as a possible defense, it may come down to whether he understood what he was doing as he allegedly committed the murders, although he later told investigators that he knew it was wrong. Yet at the same time, he indicated that he had to do it to save the world. So. You know, that's going to be for the lawyers to fight over at some point. And Coleman's currently being held in federal prison without bail, scheduled to be arraigned August 31st.